firms don't operate in isolation. They're involved in a variety of inter-organizational relationships. Some of these sets of relationships are called networks. Another increasingly popular term is ecosystems. But what's the difference? And could a better understanding of both provide insights firms can use to improve? For example, Apple, Cisco, Aon and Allianz have a formal alliance to provide cybersecurity solutions using Apple's products. Apple also has complementarities with Adobe, Microsoft, Dropbox and other developers. Complementarities and networks can be represented by maps. Both networks and ecosystems depict how organizations manage dependencies. Networks are formal and enduring inter-organizational relationships that are strategically significant for their members. Ecosystems comprise a set of actors with varying degrees of multilateral, non-generic complementarities that are not fully hierarchically controlled. Ecosystems are built to offer value propositions to customers. Technological components are building blocks of ecosystems. Graph theory principles add structure to patterns of complementarities within ecosystems. Applying network analysis can uncover technological components' centrality in ecosystems. Bottleneck components, which can limit the ecosystem's growth, tend to have high centrality. Much literature already exists on organizational networks. Now, literature focusing on ecosystems is undergoing vibrant growth. A theoretical perspective, encompassing both traditional and newer literature, will uncover more effective ways for organisations to work together. Companies need to know who they depend on for resources. This research will underpin further exploration of how firms can develop relationships to increase customer value.